In this video, we will discuss or we will derive the formula for the deformation of a uniform bar when it is subjected to the self weight. It means the here uniform bar is there of constant cross section area. It is A if you take that and it one end, one end of the bar is fixed. The other end is freely, uh, it is freely attached here. That is it is free from move. So due to this self weight of this uniform bar, what will be the deformation? What will be the deformation uh, we need to derive here? Okay. If you come to the figure here, consider a uniform bar, uniform bar of uniform cross section area E that is constant cross section area is constant E uh, and it is subject one end is fixed and other end is free, other end is free. The length of the uniform bar is L capital L length of the uniform bar. Okay. Now when it is subjected to the uh, free uh, free end, then the obviously the weight, the weight of the bar is it will be produced here. Okay. We need to derive the deformation. How much is there? So consider a uniform bar of constant cross section area A is subject is fixed at one end fixed vertically it is fixed vertically right it is fixed vertically at one end and other end is free. Other end is free. Okay. As shown in figure. Let L equal to length of the bar. length of the bar okay now we will consider a small elemental strip elemental strip and it is at a distance of x from the free end from the free end uh, the length of the element is the strip is dx okay we need to derive first the deformation of this element then we need to integrate from 0 to L, from 0 to L to get the deformation of the whole bar. Okay. First, we need to derive the deformation of this elemental strip. Okay. Now, consider elemental strip, elemental strip, which is at a distance of, which is at a distance of how much x at a distance of x from free end from free end and the length is dx and the length of element is dx Okay, and uh, A, B, C are the three points uh, the related to the uniform bar here. Okay, if the strip is here, this element, this this element is subjected to the weight of the portion B, C. It means whatever the B, C weight is there, that is carried out by this element here, right? So, therefore. The element is subjected to the element is subjected to the load that will be equal to how much that is weight of this BC portion right that will be equal to weight of 
portion BC. Okay, because it is subjected to uh, subjected to the load of this much weight, this much weight. Okay. Now, what is the volume of this BC here? What is the volume of this uh, the element element? The volume of the this element is area into length, right? Area into length. It means area is constant throughout the bar. It is a a into the length is x, right? Now I'll write therefore volume of element equal to area, okay? Area of element and everything is constant into x into x here that is up to here because this much is the weight here okay next uh, let w be the equal to specific weight specific weight specific weight what do you mean by specific weight? It is weight per unit volume. Weight per unit volume. That is, I just I'll write here specific weight equal to weight per unit volume, right? Per unit volume normally. Normally. Weight I can write that is load. That is due to do uh, the load due to self-weight. I can write uh, with respect to this x, that is I write this px weight per volume per unit volume that is area of this element into x okay area into length okay that is specific weight from this now uh, this i can write it as load on element therefore the load i can write the, therefore load or weight on element equal to px right that is px how we we'll write px equal to specific weight into volume volume is area into x area into x okay area into x now this is the load you found the uh, load due to the uh, weight here. Now what is the general formula uh, for the deformation PL by E, right? Now this we will, we need to apply for the elementary strip. Therefore, deformation of element equal to, that is del L of element X, the element equal to P L by E, e right? P L by E, e. P L by E, e normal formula. This how I can write? P is P X related to this P X. L L is length of the element. How much length? That is into D X. Length of the element is D X divided by area is constant. Even the strip or the bar, it is same. That is A into E here. Okay. Now, what is the load of due to this element here? You already calculated here. Specific weight into area into x. Right? That is specific weight into area into x into dx divided by a into e. Right? A into e. Now, this a, this a cancels. Okay? What we will get here? Specific weight into x into dx divided by E, that is the deformation of the, this element. Now, we want the deformation of the whole bar. How we will do? Just integrate 0 to L, just integrate 0 to L, we will get. Therefore, deformation of bar due to self-weight, right? Because specific weight comes here, it is self-weight. Due to self-weight 
equal to full bar equal to integration of 0 to L 0 to L of deformation of this strip that is deformation of the strip here elemental strip how you will write this one 0 to L elemental strip is how much the specific weight into x into dx divided by E divided by Young's modulus okay E is Young's modulus this separate the constant here specific weight divided by E I will remove the outside and this will be 0 to E 0 to L sorry 0 to L and uh, x into dx okay this will be equal to specific weight divided by Young's modulus just integrate how you will get x square by 2 0 to L next just remove the 2 outside w uh, the specific weight divided by 2 into e x square the limits are 0 to L okay next apply the upper limit and lower limit this will be specific weight divided by 2 e if you apply upper limit that is L square minus 0 minus 0 okay so this I, how, how much I am getting here the deformation of bar due to self weight equal to specific weight into L square divided by 2e 2e right specific weight L square divided by 2e call this equation as 1 this is the deformation of the bar subjected to self weight that is specific weight into L square divided by 2 times Young's modulus divided by 2 times Young's modulus now we will find but the deformation the deformation of a bar deformation of a bar due to self weight deformation of a bar subjected to subjected to force force equal to self weight what it mean this is one it is due to self weight you, you got the you got this derivation here now the deformation of a bar subjected to for force that is force equal to self weight it means equal to self weight it means what is that uh, the we are finding out the deformation of the bar subjected to force equal to self weight normal formula is pl by ae right pl by ae this is the force that will be equal to self weight this is different this is due to weight this is due to force this is force okay what is the p here p equal to that is specific weight into what length into area length into area into x right a into length because this is related to whole bar whole bar so the length is the total length area into length is the area is constant l, l is the length okay therefore this will be i will sub, substitute p value that is this into area into L into L divided by A into E right A into E this is this A this A cancels this will be equal to W into L square divided by E this is call this one as equation 2 equation 2 now both are same right this is due to self weight this is due to self weight this is the bar is subjected to a force equal to self weight subjected to a force equal to self weight so if you compare 1 and 2 if you compare 1 and 2 what you will get because both are same we can conclude the deformation of the bar due to self weight is half of because it is half one half it is half of the deformation of a 
bar subjected to force equal to self weight are you getting my point just compare 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 it is clear that what you what, what you need to conclude here the deformation of bar due to self weight is half it is half is half that of the deformation of bar subjected to a force equal to self weight that is deformation of a bar deformation of a bar subjected to self weight self weight subjected to self weight is half of deformation of a bar this one deformation of a bar subjected to a force equal to self weight equal to self weight just don't get confusion here this is due to self weight this is due to a force equal to self weight that is deformation of a bar subjected to self weight is half of the deformation of a bar subjected to a force equal to self weight a force equal to self weight this is how you need to conclude the final that is you need to first the deformation due to self weight is specific weight into length square into length square divided by 2e but due to self the due to uh, the weight due to force is specific weight into length square divided by e here okay this is how you need to find out the deformation due to self weight